because I know that Donald Malarkey is still alive. Uh, yes, how did, yes. did how did you research the part? Did you go talk to him? Did you uh, how how did you get into his character? You know, uh, Steven Spielberg and Tom Hanks were really great at uh, at giving us. I mean, all the paper. Uh, and visual re- research we would ever need. I mean, I had a box sent to my house long before we ever started this um, with just you know, letters and, and pictures and, you know, I mean, from everything for, you know, insignias on helmets and what they mean and who's a captain and who's a general and all that stuff. Uh, but then also personal stuff about the human being that we were playing, just where they're from, what they look like, what they did. But then all of a sudden, you know, you have to also get this person on the phone and, and, ma- and, and you know, double check because you want to. So I spoke to him probably once a week while we were making it. Wow. Uh, he had a tough time. I mean, there was there was nine out of ten conversations I had with him. He'd have to hang up because he was he would he would cry because these guys really. This is the first time Band of Brothers was the first time they'd lived it again, and and was, were forced to actually talk about it because um, they needed to. And if, and right. if they didn't, they wouldn't have been represented. So it, it was a kind of a catch twenty two. Like if I don't talk about it i won't be represented in this great historical thing and if i do it's going to bring up some emotions so uh, yeah i spoke to him about once a week and he was so available and and, and helpful and he would hang up sometimes get a little emotional and he called me back and apologized and, uh still a great friend today and he's uh, a big part of why that that show is so good these guys kept it so tight hidden deep they didn't want to affect their families but it ended up affecting their families anyway but it's, it's really nice that's another thing band of brothers did is it, it gave a a vehicle for these guys to, you know, tell their story and, and, and get closer with their families, having told it and got it off their chest. Um, now, the boot camp that went along with uh, playing these parts, how long were you uh, at the boot camp? Uh, and boot camp was uh, about three weeks. And and uh, did, the f- did the filming of the series start during the boot camp experience or after? No, after. Okay. We did the boot camp thing first for three weeks. We did... Uh, uh, we did a little week long jump jump training, and then two weeks of uh, boot camp, uh, excellent nineteen forty 1940 style. So, uh, and then we had like two days off, and then we started filming. Were you, were you uh, prepared or unprepared mentally and physically for boot camp? Um, I was prepared as anybody could be. Physically, definitely, I was prepared. Uh, mentally, that's the whole point of it. You can't ever be mentally for mentally prepared for something you have no idea what it's going to be. But you can be prepared to be available for something that you have no idea what it's going to be, and that's what it was. And some guys, you know, some guys had a really tough time. Some, some guys definitely cried themselves to sleep. But, you know, I kind of have, I had a daughter. I just had a daughter, and, and I knew that, you know, ultimately I was smart enough to realize that what I was going through had, was nothing compared to guys that are in real boot camps that are, that when, when it's all said and done, they're going to go off to war. So I was a little bit more safer than maybe I should have been. I should have dove in a little. More. I dove in, no question. Right. I still had like, okay, my daughter is a hundred miles away in London right now, uh, with with my wife, and so I had to keep that because ulti- you know I am an actor. I had to you know had to stay with my real life. So I, I really enjoyed boot camp a lot. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was like a not a vacation because it was difficult, but looking back on it, it was one of the best times of my life. Getting to know all these guys. 